makes me fire, not getting lighter See the light getting brighter, my eyes can comprehend the future ahead Today, we are going to deal with the subject on the series, The Power of Evangelism. And the topic is, Greatest Need of an Unbeliever. But before we continue, let us uh, have our acts of faith. 
and, uh, and it's uh, share it's share share this broadcast and tag your family and friends subscribe to CIF TV follow us on our Facebook page and uh, it's Christ International Fellowship as the Lord leads you you to give please note uh, CIF bank accounts for your giving you may take a screenshot to remember these account numbers hallelujah hallelujah let us pray father we thank you for the opportunity and the privilege to be together today on our online devotion and prayer we thank you lord for each one watching we thank you lord for the energy and the ability to hear your word we thank you god for your presence today and let your fresh fire fresh touch oh god lord of your word upon our lives to be uh, evident in the, in the name of jesus thank you lord for each one being here with us today and bless oh god everyone in the name of jesus amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah my mentor said that the greatest need of an unbeliever is salvation and the greatest need of a believer is transformation the greatest need of a transformed believer is empowerment and the greatest need of an, of an empowered believer is character and humility today we will talk about the greatest need of the unbeliever how will an unbeliever know his need or if no one tells him and how can a person tell if no one sends him the telling is called evangelism evangelism is the mechanism and the platform to reveal the greatest need of a person to reveal the reason for the need and number three to reveal the way of salvation this is the power of evangelism this is the power of the gospel hallelujah Romans 1 16 says for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes hallelujah why does the unbeliever need salvation well an unbeliever is a person without salvation and without Christ and without Christ and without salvation he will die spiritually it's a spiritual uh, separation from the Lord for eternity and you don't want to have that occasion in your life and a person without salvation will die in his sins the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20 a it says the soul who sins shall die hallelujah hallelujah Romans 3 23 says that uh, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God is that true yes it is true because it's the Word of God and the Word of God does not lie it will tell us whatever it means to say to us and Romans 6 chapter 23 it says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord hallelujah so uh, we we uh, we know now that the unbeliever needs salvation and then who can save the unbeliever John 3 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life John 14 chapter uh, John chapter 14 verse 6 says uh, uh, Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father but by me hallelujah hallelujah in first Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 it says for there is one God and one mediator between God and man the man Jesus Christ Acts 4 12 says no nor is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved 
So, who can save the unbeliever? Private. Oh, what it is? Oh, who is it? Jesus. Jesus is the only way to the Father. Jesus is the only way of salvation. Jesus is the only one who can save us from our sins. Hallelujah. How can the unbeliever receive salvation? How can the unbeliever receive salvation? ABC. It's as easy as ABC. Sometimes we, we complicate things so much, but the Bible makes it so simple. ABC. The ABC of salvation. First, admit that you're a sinner and you need salvation. A person needs to admit that he is a sinner and in need of salvation. B. Believe that Jesus gave his life and shed his blood for you as the payment of your sins. Jesus Christ gave his life. Hallelujah. He gave his life uh, voluntarily. He was not forced to do it. He gave it heartily, voluntarily because of his love. Hallelujah. He laid down his life for a person and, and Jesus did it while uh, a person uh, has, hasn't, hasn't even known him yet. The Bible says Jesus Christ gave his life uh, while we were yet sinners he demonstrated his life for when a person dies for a friend that's good that's good but when a person dies for his enemy well it only Jesus can do it and Jesus did it John 1 12 how can the believer receive salvation John 1 12 the Bible says but as many as receive him to them he gave power to be called the sons of God. Hallelujah. Receiving Jesus makes us be related to Jesus. Makes us be have a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Romans 10, chapter 9, uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation praise the lord hallelujah ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 it says for by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves it is the gift of god not of works lest anyone should boast hallelujah so who is responsible? Who is the responsible carrier of salvation? You as a believer. Are you a believer? Are you? If you are a believer, you have been given this mandate. You have been given this assignment to carry the gospel of salvation. To carry the word of God. Hallelujah. Romans 10, 15 says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of things, of good things. Tidings of good things. Other version says tidings of great joy. Hallelujah. And you know what happens in Daniel chapter 12 verse 3? It says, those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you are an unbeliever, you are responsible for your own salvation, to receive salvation. Nobody else can receive salvation for you. You yourself need to receive that salvation. And if you are a believer, you are responsible to tell others about the Lord Jesus Christ, about the salvation that Jesus Christ has given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If your mother is a Christian, she cannot be, she cannot save you. She cannot be saved for you, you yourself need to receive that salvation for yourself you are accountable for your own self hallelujah you have to answer to God for yourself 
I can't answer for you, but you can answer for yourselves. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 5, 10 says, For we must all, all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Although this verse is written for believers, the idea is that one, each one, will stand before the Lord. There is that great white throne judgment waiting for people. Hallelujah. So are you ready now to receive God's gifts of, of salvation? We cannot delay that because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We have to be sure. We must, we must have that assurance of salvation now hallelujah hallelujah if you want to receive jesus christ as your lord and savior you may raise your hand and say lord i admit that i'm a sinner i believe in you i believe that you are the son of god who gave your life for me i believe oh lord and i call you lord now because i know that you are saving me now Oh Lord, and I confess all of my sins. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. If you pray that prayer, we have people that will help guide you into living this life of salvation. We have people that will pray for you with, to, to help you nurture and encourage you to your holiness walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's go to prayer. We have 40 days prayer and fasting and we are going to pray that the Lord will bring the answers to all of these prayer needs that we have. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that you are um, a very responsible God, a very uh, uh, good God that is able to carry out your word and fulfill your promises to us. Thank you, Lord, that we can pray, we can ask. Prayer is the platform where we can grow. Prayer is the platform where we can have uh, a fellowship with you. Prayer is the platform where, where we can petition, oh God, that we might approach your throne of grace so that we may obtain mercy in our time of need. Father God, we pray for IPHC. For PPHC, Lord, the bishops, missionaries, and, and the pastors, the leaders, the churches, that there will be unity and direction, protection, provision, fruitfulness, and intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that even the G12 international leaders are under your protection under your care, Lord. The national leaders of G12, the pastors, the disciples, Lord, we thank you for the fire and fruit of the Holy Spirit to be evident in his life, O oh God. The protection, the abundant provision, and, the, and Lord, that you will continue, Lord, O oh God, to help each one, O oh Lord, to proceed with the vision for nation transformation. Only you can make that reality, Lord. And so we pray, we ask you, O oh God, with thanksgiving in our hearts, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, because you are not a man that you should lie. And every promise that you have given to us, Lord, oh God, you will fulfill. Hallelujah. You have been so faithful with us, Lord. And so we continue, Lord, to um, um, be faithful to you as well, oh God, even in the matters of prayer. Lord, we pray for the CIF pastors. Lord, we pray for Pastor Ghani and Pastor Ates King King. You know what had happened, O oh God. And you know, Lord, for their need, O oh God, their need of comfort, O oh God. Lord, you know the pain, O oh, oh Lord. And Lord, we realize that uh, without pain, there is no leadership. So Lord, if we are a leader, Lord, uh, we also uh, uh, need to embrace pain and, and grow and and learn from the what you are telling us oh god but lord we pray oh god that you will give them comfort and provision for all of their needs in the name of jesus lord give them strength and give them direction oh god in the name of jesus we pray lord oh god for pastor chris oh god pastor uh burn pastor jenny and pastor yas 
Lord, for Pastor Atet, Lord, for Pastor June Ortiz, for Pastor Mark and Angel Guillang, Pastor Joseph and Jay Dilad. Lord, we pray for Israel, Pastor Israel and, and Monica, Lord, oh God. We pray for all of their families as well. We pray for Pastor Feli, oh God, Pastor Ed and uh, Sister Nida. We pray for Pastor Shirley Bowman. We pray for Pastor uh, Pastor Alma and, and Jeff, O oh God, we thank you, Lord, that you have given fire, you have given the fruit of the Holy Spirit upon each of their lives, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the passion, O oh Lord, for these pastors, O oh God. Uh, so the, the, the idea, Lord, the energy, Lord, the passion, Lord, of winning souls will continue to reverberate in each heart in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, O oh Lord, and we pray for each one, Lord, to, to be able to raise their team of 12 in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Oh, we bless your name forever and ever. We thank you, Lord, for protection from evil. Hallelujah. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we, we fear no evil, for you are with us. Thank you, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for prosperity in all areas of life, Lord, for everyone who is watching now, O oh God, for anyone, Lord, who is uh, having pain, for anyone who is having sickness or, or enduring uh, disease, Lord, we pray for uh, healing in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for the shepherd's heart or heart of the Father to be uh, etched, O oh God, to be really c come alive in each person's heart in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, O oh, <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. We pray for the opening of Cavite City, CIF uh, in Cavite City in June 12. We thank you, Lord, for the church lot and building in CIF Bico. And Father, we also uh, pray for a new place of worship for CIF Makati. Lord, thank you, God, for those who have desired to to. Fill in, O oh God, and, and bring donation, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. You know that the church have lost a lot, but Lord, I know that you are able, Lord, to replace every one of them. And thank you, Lord, for, that you are already touching hearts, O oh God, to partake, Lord, in um, this uh, venture of giving, O oh Lord, and replacing, Lord, every one of the um, equipment. Thank you, Lord, for the place of worship as well. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for more cells and cell leaders. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the vibrant fruitfulness of every member in Jesus' name. Fruitfulness, O oh God, in the spirit and, Lord, in the physical realm as well, O oh God, so that the evidence, O oh God, of souls won to the kingdom, Lord, will be seen in Jesus' name. Be seen by you, Lord. Be seen by others, O oh God, so that they will be encouraged to continue to do your work in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for saving souls. We pray, Lord, for our own families. We thank you, Lord, for every ministry that has been uh, initiated, Lord, and will continue to progress by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for helping us, O oh God, reach our goals, O oh God, the, the souls for the kingdom, the PX3, O oh God. Lord, we pray for international issues, Lord. We pray, O oh God, for Israel, Ukraine, and Japan in Jesus' name. We pray for other countries in Jesus' name. We pray for USA, Canada, O oh Lord, all, all countries, all nations, Lord, countries are political political terms oh god but we pray for nations because there will be time when all nations will be represented around your throne we thank you god for the great harvest coming up oh god in the name of jesus we thank you lord that even in the philippines lord our upcoming election lord will be uh, one with safety will be one with with success oh lord will be one that is blessed by you Lord, let it be peaceful in the name of Jesus. Let there not be any chaos in the name of Jesus. Let everyone, Lord, know where their place is. Let, every, let everyone know, oh God, that you are Lord even 
of this election in Jesus name and we find all forces of darkness that will try to disrupt the uh, the peace that the Lord has given to us in the name of Jesus we find all oh, the, the the issues of oh God and the spirits of darkness that will try to to bring uh, uh, violence in the name of Jesus Oh Lord, we bless your name, O oh God, and let all matters, O oh God, of perceptible, perceptibility, O oh God, Lord, be uh, real in our hearts that we might per perceive what you are trying to do with us and for this country. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Bless each one watching with us now. Bless each one, Lord, praying with us now. Bless every family of the churches all around the world we thank you lord for your faithfulness thank you lord that you will be seen thank you lord that you will be glorified for the earth shall be covered with the glory of the lord as the waters cover the sea thank you father thank you lord you are great and greatly to be praised hallelujah 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 thank you lord well thank you for being with us and and thank you for your prayers and your support Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the, for the work of God that is being done in each of your life. We, we love you. We, we continue to uh, adore. We adore God. We continue to support you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Comprehend the future ahead